Today, we're gonna to be creating a class, adding attributes and creating an instance of that class. Let's get straight into it. So today's class is uh, on classes, how to create classes. So we're gonna start off here on the screen. I hope you can see it all perfectly. Um, so in order to create a class, just, I'm sorry, create a class, getting ahead of myself. Type in this class, and what I'm gonna do one today is gonna to create a class called Runner, okay? I'm actually into running myself, so um, some of this is pertinent. I kind of have a bit of a small bit of a knowledge on it, so I hope you, uh, if you're a runner, you'll appreciate this. So, with all classes, they have attributes, right? So, what we're going to do first of all in this class is create their attributes. So, what I'm going to do is create an attribute called name, which is just going to call it myself Joe. Um, then I'm going to call, um, say, age, okay? I'm just going to say 21. I wish I was. <laughs> I'm going to call my um, distance, okay, so let's just call an attribute called distance. Um, probably not my favourite distance when I'm running, but uh, I've in the past done well over it when I've been fit. Um, and the type, uh, road, road race type, so I'm just going to call this actually type. Actually, we can't call it type because that's a reserve word. Um, I've done a video on actually not before in reserve, word, uh, reserve words if you want to check it out on the website. So we're going to call it row, race type, right? Let's call it race type, okay? You can call it anything you want, really. And uh, what we're going to call this is row, okay? So first of all, as you can see, we've created our class called runner and it's called, we created the attributes. So when you create a class as well, you can also um, create methods within the methods are the same as functions but the methods are attached to the class and it can perform anything on the class attributes so in this instance what we're going to do is we're going to create a method called let's call it just details for the moment okay and we'll do this and in that method we're basically going to say let's just say print print age right so when you want to run a method within a class if you want to print one of its attributes, you have to call the class, the object name, um, runner in this instance. And then you have to call the attribute of that runner. And in this instance, we're going to call age. So what we'll do is runner dot h. Okay. Let's hit return. So now what we've created so far is a class called runner. And we'll create attributes called name, age, distance, and race type. So if we go down here and let's just say, so it's just a, for the moment, let's just say print. So say you want to print some of these class details. Um, what you would do is you go print, you would go or you runner dot. So let's just say we want to print the age. Okay. So let's do that. 21. So now what you have is you have a class created and you have four attributes and a you've also got a method called details. So in this scenario, uh, we've gone to print runner.details, the, the, um, the actual method within this class, but on actual fact, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is to call that method is so runner.details. So there you go. And what it does is it actually returns the value of the runner.details. So the runner.details is just going print runner.age. We know age is 21, the attribute to age is 21. So if we change that to say name, okay, let's rerun this. We will get Joe, okay? So your class in this, in classes are obviously very good for storing attributes um, specific and they're great, you can actually recall them within your code. Right, so now we've clay, created the attributes, name, age, distance, and race type, okay? And we've created a method attached to that class. So in classes then, um, what we can do is you can create a scenario where you can create another uh, instance of that class, but that instance of that class will be able to call those particular values. So say in a program, somewhere you need to call those particular class values, you can just create an instance of that class and it has access to that class to put its values. So let's show you an example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say create A is an object. So let's just call it athlete, actually. That's what we'll do, keep it simple. And we'll say athlete is it gonna to equal to runner, okay? 
All right. So what we're basically saying is this object here, athlete, is equal to runner. All right. Then what you can basically do is you can call, you can print some of those values. So let's just say we want to print, uh, say the athlete dot distance, right? All right. Uh, yeah, it should work. So in this scenario, okay, we've created the class runner, okay, with object runner, created as attributes, and we've created a method. We've also gone and printed, so we've kind of shown where you can print the actual um, class um, attribute of age, okay. Now we've created another another scenario. So say you're somewhere else in your code, in your Python code, and you want to actually go and create another object, but reference it back to the class runner to so that you can go and get some of those attributes. That's basically what we've done here was we created the object athletes, signed it to the runner class, then we basically said, athlete, please give us back the distance. So essentially what it does is it goes and takes, goes back and looks where where would I get the distance value from? Oh distance value from the runner class. Goes back up to the runner class. And basically says, where is the distance value? Distance value is five kilometers. We'll pull it back here and print it out. So there's a scenario where you've created a class um, with an object runner, uh, an object, and then you've gone and called that object values into another object called athlete. So what's the scenario? Let's just try something here to show you an example um, of where you want to add in attributes. So say you're working to your code and you suddenly find you have say in this instance we have four attributes which say a an athlete uh, basically has more attributes or oh, we should have added them in. How how would that how would you achieve that? It's, that's pretty simple. What we would do is go up here in here into class runner again. Um, maybe what we would do is explain this to show you the error. So say you want to print uh, athlete again, right? The object athlete, but say you wanted to print gender, okay? Let's just let's just run this for you, okay? It's basically going to turn around and give you this error. Um, this makes logical sense when you look at this here, okay? It's basically saying runner object has no attribute gender, and the reason for that is. It's going back up to the attributes, attributes of the runner and it's looking for basic uh, gender. Because we haven't included it, it's just going to throw back this error. But that is easily resolved. Okay, so let's just go back here. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just type in gender again here. So we'll go back up to the original class object runner. And we're just basically creating this and we're basically saying call this male. Okay. And now when I run this code, it's not going back the error and actually should print out mail here in the logic. Okay, so let's just try this out. There you go. There's your mail. So there I have done is I have created a class, I've created attributes, I've created a method in that attribute, and I've shown you how to actually uh, call those uh, attributes of the original um, object runner. Then what I've also done is I've created a new object um, and I've signed that to the original runner object class and basically that allows us in that instance to basically call the attributes of runner into that object. And then what I've also done is showing you that if you try to run the program and you don't, you're missing a particular attribute of a class, it will throw up an error. But in actual fact, it's very easy to add it in back into that class in the original class called runner here and as a result therefore your class has been updated with a new attribute where this is useful for you is essentially if you're creating a new object outside that class runner in your logic somewhere else in the program it, all you need to do is go back to one place add in the attribute and that attribute is available to all all objects that are referencing a class runner, either runner itself or an object that's created as an instance of that uh, object runner. We've just gone through how to create classes, so I hope you enjoyed that. 
if you have and you like what we're doing please give us a big subscribe pretty please we really appreciate it so our next video will be on inheritance in python in classes so please if you subscribe and hit that hit that uh, bell you'll be able to get an alert when that goes up so catch you soon look after yourself and thanks for coming to data analytics ireland